Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Hear that, darling? Sounds like the engine's wearing out. You think so? I hope we don't break down before we get to the vets. <laughs> Pointless, pathetic, incompetent. Get out and don't come back until you know how to heal animals, Vladimir. Get a grip on yourself and man up. You see that? Looks like the vet has been thrown out of his own clinic. Yay! New more annual checkups. What's happened, Doctor? <sighs> Val was right. I'm incapable, pointless, useless, a dead weight in this world, a shame to my profession. Don't say that! I am, I am, I hate my job. I'd never have become a vet if my mom hadn't forced me to. My big dream was to become a Tibetan flutist. Everything will be fine, Vladimir. Go on home and take- But this is my home. I haven't anywhere else to go. Mommy! <laughs> We'll take care of you, you'll see. In a few days, you'll be raring to go again. Come and hang out with our lovable little fur balls for a while. I'm sure they'll put a smile back on your face. We gotta get out of here before that monster sees behind our disguise. We head back to the Living Stones once he's gone. Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> Look, they're so excited about showing you around the house, they jumped out before we parked. Okay, we're trapped. Keep your distance and make sure the vet does not see your zippers, okay? What kind of distance? I don't know. Two yards? Two and a half? Hmm? That's about 20, 25 sausages end to end, Sam. Or 250 sitting in a line. Let's go play with our darlings in the yard. You'll see, it'll cheer you up to no end. In you go, sweetie pies. Hi! Everybody run for cover! <laughs> uh, fluffy babies? I bet I scared them away. No, they're only playing hide and seek. Call for them, and they'll soon come running. Uh, uh Philadelphia! Not bad. He is named after a city, but not that one. The name's Washington. Oh, yeah. Uh, Paddington, uh, Pab, Lucy, uh, Zucchini. Uh, close. It's Washington, Sam, Susie, and Eugenie. Oh, yeah. Uh, Washington, Sam, Eugenie, Susie. It's a trap. Yeah. Don't move! Oh. They probably didn't hear you. I haven't cleaned their ears out in over a month. Sweetie pies? Here they are. Look how pleased they are to see you. How about we all go play ball? They love playing ball. Uh, don't move, okay? Go on, throw. You go first. <laughs> see, they don't want to play with me. It's obvious. You have to throw the ball further. Look, like this. <laughs> I am so sorry. Are you okay? Can you hear me? <laughs> I want my mommy. How about we play vet, huh? You like that, playing vet? It's a game he's sure to win. It'll give his confidence a huge boost. Mr. Livingstone, you are a genius. Mm -hmm. I never want to hear anyone mention that job again. Never. I'm packing it in right this minute. That means we never have to worry about him again, Wash. That's what he wants us to think. But it's a trap. Mm. A trap to get us closer to him. On your guard. You can be proud of yourselves. Thanks to you, poor Vladimir has packed in his brilliant career as a vet. 
You should be ashamed of yourselves. I warn you, if you don't give him a big hug right this minute, you won't have any kibble. I'll give you five minutes. It's blackmail. Don't give into it. That's how it all starts. First, zero kibble. Then, you gotta sleep outside. Finally, you wind up at the dog pound, or worse, back in the forest. Hmm. Okay, Sam, go give the vet a big hug. Why me? Because, uh, go on, I'll explain later. Okay, but don't forget this time, all right? Or else I'll get to thinking you're taking me for a ride. Hmm. TV is better with pictures, don't you think? Say, I'm gonna show you my favorite program. Uh, so stop! Look! It's Imatan Tabakuk, the famous Tibetan flute player. Listen to that. What talent, what beauty. Absolutely, it's remarkable, sublime. Soon it's time for my favorite Shh. Uh. Huh. Meow. Sam, give him a hug. Jump on his lap, quick. Or goodbye, kibble forever. <laughs> Ah, a cat! Disgusting! It'll give me fleas! Get out of... Uh. Oh, what soft fur! Oh, it feels like acrylic! Fake acrylic fur! See that, honey? Vladimir's got his smile back. So what? Hmm? Because of him, I can't even watch my favorite program! Come on, the main thing is he's perked up a little. And with Sam, he's sure to soon start feeling better and better. <laughs> Don't worry, Sam. I'll make you another one. <laughs> What's gotten into you? That's our family photo album. <laughs> Hello, there are people waiting out here, and you've been in there for hours. Okay, okay, it's all yours. Anyway, there's no more hot water left. <laughs> That Vladimir is really getting on my nerves. Come on, honey. We can't just throw him out. At least he's not sleeping in our bed, huh? Ah! Ah! He's gone too far. He has to go. It's time for him to go back to the clinic. You know he doesn't want to be a vet anymore. Well, I'm going to teach him the joy of curing sick animals. You'll see. What are you going to do? Our babies are in perfect health. Girls, wake Run! up! We have a situation! I was in the oven, and what I heard... What are you doing in the oven in the middle of the night? Well, after they've roasted chicken, I love licking the sides of the oven. Oh, boy. But hey, that's not the issue. I was in the oven, and I heard the living stones plotting in the kitchen. They want to put something in our kibble to make us sick, so that then the vet can make us better. Whatever you do, don't swallow a thing, okay? Sam, where are you going? I want something to eat. <sighs> Sleep makes you hungry. Sorry, Sam. Too long to explain. But from now on, you got to stop eating anything. What? Stop eating? <laughs> Sam! My little Sammy boy, answer me! Call the vet, quick! But you're the vet. I gave up that career, as you well know. And anyway, I threw away all my instruments. I picked them out of the trash can. Any other questions? Hmm, how does this work again? You put it on the heart. Not on your uh -oh. heart, Sam's heart. And you put the other end in your ears. No, <sighs> you've got to put those bits in your ears. It's pointless. I'll never manage. It's been so long since I gave up. It was only yesterday. That bed is pathetic. He's never going to cure Sam. The only thing that can cure him is to eat. Susie, let me remind you that the Living Stones have doctored all the food to make us sick. Are you sure about that? As sure as two plus two makes six. Four. <laughs> two plus two makes four, you jelly brain. The Living Stones haven't poisoned anything. Not the kibble, not the canned food, nothing, nada, zilch. I think they have. Can you tell me why you're all covered in red spots, Vic? Huh? Can you? It's makeup, knucklehead. The Living Stones want to make the vet think that I'm sick so then he can cure me, build up his self-confidence, and clear on out. This means we can give Sam something to eat. We could put him in a cast. Mm -hmm. That could work. Why? He hasn't broken anything. We'll have more luck with a medical encyclopedia. Let's see now, where are we? Camel? 
caribou. Ah, ha, here we are. Oh. I'm awake. You'll never believe it. I dreamt I was eating kibble. It was awesome. What a fascinating book, don't you think? If I'd known all this, I might have been a better vet. Meow, meow. Sam, I don't believe it. I cured him. I'm a genius of animal medicine. It's plain to see. How has the world managed without my talent for so long? I've made up my mind. I'm taking up my stethoscope again, and I'll base my clinic here. Here we'll put the waiting room, and here my treating room. It's gonna be cutting edge, high tech, state of the art. What do you think? How about you head back to your clinic instead? Oh. <laughs> Velma, it's me. I'm going back to work. Medicine needs me. Vladimir cured our cat without so much as touching him. It was phenomenal, exceptional. You must take him back. Mm -hmm. I know you'd get your old touch back, Vladimir. Welcome home. Incidentally, I believe you have an appointment for your adorable little animals. Oh, really? No, 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 just a routine checkup. Thank you, goodbye. <gasps> I think I've had enough of vets for one day. <laughs> That was close. Boy, am I ever happy he's out of the house. I got to kind of like him. No, I can't wait for the next appointment. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Hello, fave toy, we're rockin'. Sentimental Hospital, Veronica. Dr. Alessandro, why I love you too. Welcome to our new edition of Kibble Run. Open to all the animals in disguise on the block. The first one will win the Kibble Cup. Yay! <laughs> and may the best beast win. Okay, guys, ready? Wow, good one, Sam. You almost sound like a real cat. And why wouldn't I sound like a real cat? I am a real cat. Uh -huh. <laughs> a real cat? Yeah, right. And I'm a wild boar in the sky. <laughs> what is that thing? Wow! <laughs> Cats just love that stuff. Give me that right now, you stuffing warthog, you. What's going on? No idea. He's just trying to be clever, I suppose. At least I hope so. Yes, he knows. <laughs> and I've got lots of yummy salmon kibble. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sam, what's gotten into you? Just look at Victoria. You squashed her like a pancake. She's gone all limp, like a rag doll. Oh, you deserve the angry eyes treatment. Yeah. You just look at that. How could I possibly resist? Come here, you. Mm. Uh, you okay, Victoria? No, come. Little Sammy is happy. He's so happy. I have never heard him purr like that before. Right, so enough already. I've got repairs to do. But before that, a nice shower and gotta hide the kibble. Hey, Sam, uh, be careful, okay? You're not a real cat. Not a real cat? That's not cat that in that. That's not cat in that. Meow! That's not cat. I am a real cat. That's it. We're gonna have to do something fast to get him back. What a magnificent.
Magnificent series. What emotion. What I joy. Love, I love this series. Say, just between us cats, how about lending me your fave toy that smells so good? Yeah, that's for our favorite wild boy. Enjoy, mm -hmm. Sam. I'm sure you'll feel much better after this. Mm -hmm. What is this stuff? Acorns? What in the world am I supposed to do with those? I only eat kibble. King kibble. Yeah. Ah! You're sick. Sam? You're not a cat, you're a wild boar. A wild animal like me. We come from the forest! Rawr! What kind of nonsense is that? I am a cat, and cats sure don't hang out with dogs. And as for your bowl of rotten acorns, keep them to yourself! This isn't gonna be easy. <laughs> What's gotten into him? I'm losing my best friend. Hey, these things aren't so bad after all. A bit harder than teeth, but not bad at all. Mind giving me some? Weird. A dog, a rabbit, and a canary eating acorns together? Maybe I shouldn't have brought home kibble after all. Meow! First, it's my sofa, then my kibble, and now my ball. Enough is enough. Huh? are waiting to play with you in the yard. Seriously? Cool! Thanks, Victoria! Yay! What's that? Yeah. Peace at last. Boy, I love my life. Those acorns really weren't bad mm. at all. You think there are any left? Don't move! I'll go look! It's really kind of weird what's happened to Sam. Any thoughts, Victoria? None. All I know is that ever since he knocked his head on the mirror, he's become insufferable. <gasps> of course! That's it! Sam lost his memory and doesn't know who he is anymore. Oh, yeah? And how would you know that, huh? Yeah, how would you know that? <laughs> okay, in Sentimental Hospital, Dr. Alessandro has a motorcycle accident and hits his head. And since the first thing he sees when he wakes up is the doctor who's come to his rescue, he thinks he's a stethoscope. It's the same with Sam. He hit his head, lost his memory, and when he saw his reflection in the mirror, he thought he was a cat. <laughs> Un... Unbelievable! And do you have any idea where he is? Hmm, I think he went into the yard to play with the neighbors. Nugget and Fluffy! Given how nosy they are, if Sam's convinced he's a real cat and he gets too chummy with them, they're gonna unmask him and we'll be next. Girls, we've gotta get him back inside! Take your time! <sighs> and then he says to me, wild boars don't know how to purr. Can you believe it? <laughs> he called me a wild boar! Sam, <laughs> mind coming over here for a sec? Just a minute, girls. Sam, chill <laughs> out, okay? They're not your friends. You've got to come home right this second. Buzz off, stinking dog. And why, pray tell, should I return to a house with a dog in it anyway? Sam, try and remember you're a wild boar. You're a wild animal like us, the forest. Hold that! They kill me right now. Anyway, all dogs lie all the time. I'm going back on the roof amongst my own kind. <sighs> No way! He's just too weird! He says we're all wild! Did we come from the forest, you know? Complete nonsense! From where? The forest? You're wild? Oh no! Yeah, but he's always saying bizarre things. For sure. You know what dogs are like. Unbelievable. My best friend is gonna tell the neighbors everything and we're gonna have to return to the forest! Out of the question. He's got to get his memory back right now. Our lives depend on it. Victoria, you've got to help us save Sam. And why does that concern me? Because Sam surely didn't just stumble on Nugget and Fluffy out of the blue, right? I have no idea what you're talking about. Girls, your turn. Victoria, no! no not the forest! Not the forest! The forest. Oh, all right, I'll help you. <laughs> yes! Way to go, Victoria! Yeah, yeah. Hey! Calm down now and listen, Victoria. Thank you, Washington. So, Dr. Alessandro gets his memory back when he has the exact same motorcycle accident. <laughs> That's silly. Are you, uh, serious? Completely. Except that Sam can't be wearing his costume. He has to see himself as he really is in the mirror. Gotcha! Eugenie, Susie, follow me. We're gonna reenact the race just like it happened. 
Make the quick for the sewer dive. Is this a joke or what? <sighs> when it rains, it pours. <laughs> and so then I tell hey, him, Sam, yeah? Mind coming over here for a sec? Coming. I'll be right back. <laughs> Phew, I thought he'd never leave. He's even weirder than that city friend of his. The Kibble Cup race is on again! The first one to catch the other wins this awesome bucket of kibble! Against you? Ha! A cinch! You ready? Go! That's it! That's it! Go on! Red little doggy! Kibble's all mine! Sam, that is my costume. Just like yours, or Susie's, or Eugenie's. Look! Yeah. Ta -da! Ah! It's even worse than I thought! I can go to the group right now! Oh no, my costume! We've got to stop him! The way a doggy took off his dog fur and he's got rabbit ears! <laughs> yeah? Where'd he go? And we really are goners. All I have to do now is sit down and wait until they take me back to the forest. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. No, we've still got a chance. No! The day Wash is back. Hurry up, he's super heavy. Sam, look in the mirror. Here I am, girls. Well, just look at this, Sam. A chicken was clogging the machine. Sam? Uh, Sam, where are you? Why were you meowing like that? A wild boar, a wild yeah. boar. We've got to be fast, girls. Mr. Livingstone is coming. Where in the world has Sam gone to now? Sam? What's going on here? What are you doing in the sink? Right, well, I'm going back to my repairs. Glad to see you're back, Sam. Yeah, we missed you a ton. Girls, get the mirror ready. I have the feeling he thinks he might be a rabbit now. Here we go again. <laughs> Sam thinks he's a rabbit now. Okay. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Everybody hooked up? Yeah! The Wild One Express is ready to go! All aboard! Yeah! Yeah! Watch out! Tunnel coming up! Uh-oh. The Friday Express. Next stop, nowhere! <sighs> Phew, I'm exhausted. Time for a nice cup. Uh huh? What? But what's happened here? Ouch. Looks like the Wild One Express has reached the end of the line. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oops. Were you the ones who made all that mess? Uh, looks like we're really in for it now. We're to blame, too. They need Space Alicious and Arikins to stretch their legaroos. Hmm, 
Uh, Arikans? Space Alicious? What are you talking about? They need space. They need air. <laughs> they need to stretch their legs. Let's go to the forest. <laughs> Mr. Livingstone, you are one of a kind. I simply adore you. <laughs> oh, no. You remember the last time we went to the forest? There's me thinking we were off the hook. Me too. Get adventure and commune with Mother Nature. No barriers, no fences. Let's drop all our defenses. Well done, guys. Thanks to you, I want a trip to the forest. You're on your own on this one. We'll never survive in the forest, Wash. We're not wild anymore. Calm down. I may have an idea to get us back home fast, but we'll all have to pitch in. You too, Victoria. <laughs> um, okay. Maybe not you, Vic. <laughs> Nature in the hood. The adventure's looking good. <laughs> Looks like you can't wait to stretch those legaroos. That's perfect. We have everything we need. Uh, you think this is gonna work, Wash? Completely. We all go out, we wear them down, and when they're on their knees, all they'll want to do is jump straight back in the car and head home. Go! When can we go home where it's nice and warm? Soon. Take a look over there. I'm beat. Where's my bed? I gotta lie down. Incredible. I gotta admit, I'm impressed. Yeah, I know. I'm amazing. Everybody, back in the car. We How about we stay the whole weekend? What? what? <sighs> Great idea. Looks like they love the forest. They're having a ball. And meantime, we could get some shut eye. Luckily, I planned ahead. One tent in, two seconds flat. <laughs> but, but, but I was sure. What happened? Oh no, what a shame. We're going to have to go home. I also planned ahead. You're the best, Vic. I admit, it was a good idea. Not a great idea, but a good idea. How about we build ourselves a cabin? Even better. I'll go fetch the wood. And I'll go fetch food. Let's live wild! <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've seen enough. Let's face it, guys. I'm pretty sure we need a plan B. G guys? Guys? Girls? Where are you guys? I gotta say, this mud bath sure does you good. Hey, get out of there. If anybody sees you living wild like an angry child, living free like a big green tree. Honey, I have the wood. <laughs> Off to get adventure and commute with Mother Nature. <laughs> What's gotten into you? You nearly blew our cover. Sorry, Wash. There was no resisting. It's my instincts. Me too. I can feel my instincts coming back. It's the forest. We have to find some way back home and fast. Otherwise, we're going to turn back into wild beasts. But uh, that's the answer. Hmm. Let's see. What do we have here? Metals, berries, roots, acorns. Ouch! Oh, no, that's a pebble. <laughs> Of 
course there are, honey. It's nature, you know. There's roe deer, squirrels, boars and foxes. Head to the car! Hear that, my friends? Head to the car? That means we're going home. Listen, the engine's already running. Quick! <laughs> yeah. Where are the living stones? That wasn't the engine. It's Vic snoring. Vic! 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 <laughs> oh, so you came back. The living stones aren't with you? Well, no, that's just it. We thought they were at the car. You should have seen it, Vic. Wash and Sam played it being wild beasts and scared them off. They took to their heels like rabbits. How are we going to get home now if we don't even know where they are? I'm warning you, Wash. I refuse to spend one more second in this lousy forest, so you'd better find them if you know what's good for you. It was all part of my plan. What's the problem? Okay, guys, let's make like I said. Yeah, what was your plan again? I can't remember. Play along, Sam. Oh, where is that dumb car gone? We're, we're lost. Darling, what if those wild beasts come back? Now, now, don't panic. Nothing's going to happen to us. Using my legendary fox sense of smell, we'll find our masters in... <laughs> the Living Stones, quick, this way! Yeah, that's Mitch's cave! Maybe he's gobbled up Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone! I will never get to go home again! Look at him! This is one cute bear! So much cuter than the bear that invaded our bedroom! I was so afraid! Oh, Teddy! What a lovely, fluffy teddy bear! What? Look who's here! They found us! Well done, guys! Come and say hello to our new friend! He's adorable! Hi, guys. Welcome to my home. You know what, honey? I've just had the craziest idea. How about we hang out here for a few days? Mr. Livingstone, I adore you! More and more! <laughs> it looks like we're gonna be living together. <laughs> no, Wash, come back! Don't abandon us! <laughs> no! No! Okay, Vic, I've got something to confess. We couldn't find the living stones. We're gonna have to live in the forest for the rest of our lives. No hard feelings, huh? Nah. I warned you! Mmm. Thank you, honey. What a delicious feast. This bear is so adorable, don't you think, honey? Mm -hmm. What's happened to Wash? He's not going to leave us alone with Mitch, is he? I'm back, my friends. cute teddy bear after all. There is something slightly wild about him. Run away! <laughs> the car! Well done, Wash. Good dog. Safety first. <laughs> Let's go home. Yeah, honey. We're, we're through with st stretching our like a ruse. Oh. Thanks for the claw job, Vic. I gotta confess, you found a pretty good way out for once. <laughs> Next time, I swear I'll have my payback. <laughs> Those pine cones are quite good. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. 
With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. rather be playing something else? Why? This is fun! Uh, sure, and it's Thursday, and on Thursdays... I get it. I'm too fat. Yeah? We're home! <laughs> the Living Stones! They probably brought back food! <laughs> Look at what we brought back for you! One for Eugenie, one for Susie, one for Washington. And this is for Sam and Victoria. It's a cat tree, Sam. You'll love it. Give us five minutes and we'll put it together for you. Washington, no playing ball in the street, okay? <laughs> hey, what's the point of a carrot? You can't eat. They're pet toys, guys. Apparently, pets love this stuff. Seriously, I saw it on TV. This, for example, is a ball launcher. Folks use them to zing a ball into the far distance. Look. <laughs> Well, they do recommend not to use it in town. It's meant for the beach or the countryside. That is awesome! Will you launch me, Wash? Say you'll launch me! Okay. I'll just go get the ball back first. I assure you, Mr. Police Officer, sir, a ball just fell out of the sky. Where could that ball have got to? Da ha! There it is! Wash? Sure, it's you, Wash. <laughs> I'd recognize that snout of yours a mile away. <laughs> you don't recognize me? It's Magnus. Oh, hey, Magnus, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's been ages, buddy. Yeah, you're telling me. You're looking pretty sharp. What's with the fur look? <laughs> it's not my real fur. It's a costume. <laughs> Thanks to this, I managed to get myself adopted by humans. Now, I live in the lap of domestic luxury. I knew you'd pull it off one day. You always were the sharpest fox in the box. Don't exaggerate. Anyway, how you doing? Well, you know what the forest is like. Grief all day long. I came into town to see if I couldn't find myself something to eat. Uh, I'm starving. I'm hungry. Shelter! Come on! Wow, your place sure looks cozy. Can I come in? I'm hungry. Hey, what? Can you hear me? Huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna help you, Magnus. I can't leave you like this. Where's the kitchen? Over there. You took your time. Did you find your ball? Is Wash acting weird to you? <laughs> uh, how does Wash do that? Wearing his costume but not wearing his costume both at the same time? I've never managed that. Magnus? Are you crazy? Magnus is a wild guy, 100%. The Living Stones will notice and then imagine what will happen if you get spotted without your costume. Hey, easy. Everything's fine. Magnus is just having a bite to eat. It'll only take five minutes. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Remember back in the forest? Forest? <laughs> Stop! It sure was rough. You're right. We've got to help Magnus. So, can you show him the house? I'll wait for you here. Ah, I'm gonna take a bit of time out of my costume. I can smell a wild animal here. Mm, kibble? Now, is that what you call them? They're awesome! Hey, stop! Are you crazy? That's my bull! Domestic life has rules and regulations. Everyone has their own bowl, and nobody touches anybody else's. If you want more kibble, you go find the masters and give your best cute show. Meow! 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 
<laughs> Hilarious. Do it again. Meow. Meow. Yay! My kibble! Lock nut 17 on shaft 19. What's a lock nut? <sighs> it's uh, cool here. Whoa, what's that? <sighs> That's uh, Vic. Victoria, the house cat. No, the thing she's sleeping on. There, it looks real comfortable. Yeah, but no. Don't touch, it's her cushion. Okay, okay, quit the rules and regulation stuff. A fat lot of good they are. Ain't that right, fatty? Hey! Hey, no, Wash, you're gonna run! Who's he? Your buddy? Let's say he's Wash's buddy. Hey, Wash, you there? Over here! I had a run-in with Alvarez, but it's okay now. How's tricks with you? Tricks aren't good. Your buddy Magnus took my cushion, and if you don't get rid of him immediately, I'll take Sam's kibble hostage. What? That's not fair. Magnus has already eaten my share. There's no way I'm sacrificing myself. Hmm? Whoa, your human guys are trying to make some weird contraption, and the noise is atrocious. I'm a light sleeper, me. I don't get a moment's peace. Ciao, Wash. See you around. That's what friendship is all about. Making sacrifices. You're right. We did good helping Magnus. Are you joking? He stole my kibble. If you were in the same situation, wouldn't you have liked Magnus to give you his kibble? Yeah, but I mean to say, you don't steal my kibble. Hey, Magnus, you okay? Tell me, uh, I got a little favor to ask. My sister is starving. You couldn't lend her your costume, could you? I mean, well, let's say that, uh... <laughs> uh yeah. And there's my cousin and brother-in-law, too. Okay with you? <laughs> Wash has lost weight. <laughs> Looks like Wash has gained weight again, no? <laughs> is it me, or is Wash's weight yo yoing madly? I get the impression our lovable little fur balls are up to something. That is not how we eat. First, you have to ask the master. Oh. <laughs> This is not good, Schnookums. We are not happy. Honey, I think Wash is behaving really weird. If it continues, we'll have to take him to the vet. <laughs> you haven't seen a wild animal around here? I'm sure I picked up the scent of a wild animal. Wash, you gotta get your costume back. Your buddies are messing up. Livingstones don't call the vet, then I will. Okay, okay, I'll get it back. Relax, it was a joke. All the same, if I don't get my cushion back in the next five minutes, there's going to be trouble. Hey there! No overtaking! There's a line here for that costume. Like eh. Hey, look! If it isn't, watch! Yeah, you're right! How's it going? What are you doing here? Shh, quiet! Anyone know where Magnus is? Magnus, I, I, I gotta talk to you. Now don't go thinking I'm complaining, but I kinda need my costume. No worries, Wash, but you'll have to queue up like everybody else. That's right. We're waiting too. Uh... You know, Magnus, so far you've only seen the upside of domestic life. It's not always a bed of roses. There's loads of horrible stuff you gotta do to deserve those rewards. We have to hug our masters. Say what? Hug our masters. It's this thing that you'll believe it when you see it. What's he up to? He sure is taking his time getting his costume back. Huh? <sighs> 
<sighs> so, do you have it? Nearly. I've got a plan. <clears throat> but I'm gonna need you. We're about to embark on Operation Snuggle. <laughs> I think our little honey buns want to say sorry for their monkey business earlier. <laughs> Look! Watch what's wrong! <laughs> Operation Snuggle is working like a dream. Shall we move things up in here? <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter, little Sam. We'll buy you another one, Schnookums. <laughs> He's not going too far. How about you, Wash? Want to join in? Come on, give us a hug. That hugging stuff is horrendous. How do you put up with it? What, do you have absolutely no self-respect? I'd rather go back to the forest and put up with the grief. Washington, come give me a hug right this minute. Yeah. <laughs> That's the Washington <laughs> we know dog. and love. Hey, you, it smells like fox. <laughs> 19, 19. Sam, not gonna happen. What do you mean? I'm too fat, is that it? Okay, go on, climb <laughs> aboard. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. your dreams, guys, but that's not a movie poster. It's a wanted poster. A wanted poster? Huh? A wanted poster? What have you done, Sam? Me? Nothing at all. I've done nothing, I'm telling you. Sam has been naughty, and now there's gonna be trouble. <clears throat> oh, no! That must be the dog pound coming to get Sam! <laughs> Mr. Livingstone? Hello. I'm Mrs. Itby, Arlette Itby, and I've had a call from my veterinarian, Mr. Vetovic, who tells me that my cat, Tom, is here with you. What's that, Tom? I don't believe we have any Toms here. No, honey, are there any Toms here in this house? Tom, my cat, the one I lost? Incredible. Sam is called Tom. That's crazy. Yes, but it means he's not our Sam. That's incredible. Sam has a boy cat. Not a twin, that's a real cat. That just so happens to look exactly like Sam. We had no idea our Sam had another home before coming to us. We're really sorry. We're awfully attached to him. Perhaps we could reach an arrangement. Out of the question. That is my cat. He belongs to me and I want him. I want my Tom right this minute. <laughs> so Sam, you're living a double life, are you? Or should I say a triple life? But it's not him! Tom is a real cat who happens to look like him. That's all! How appalling. Two Sams? How can nature be so cruel? You gotta help us find Tom fast. If I let take Sam away and realizes he's a wild boar, it'll be a catastrophe for us. Let me think this through. No more Sam. No one making noise during my naps. <gasps> Catastrophe indeed. Listen to your heart, Victoria. Listen to it beating like a butterfly. Your share of kibble plus Sam for the next three weeks. My share of kibble in just for one week. You're on. Let's start by going to see Fang. He spends his life outside. If something happened in the neighborhood, he'll know about it. Super. Thanks, Victoria. Mm -hmm. Hey, have you seen this cat? Let me think about this. Yes, I have. Right here. 
So what's going on now? Have dogs lost their scent? Can't see behind the tips of their noses? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's so funny, Fang. Uh, but anyway, have you seen them or not? Mm. Okay, that's enough. No more fooling around. I've got other things to do. There's a food thief hanging around the neighborhood. No way am I gonna let that culprit get away. I'm the only one who steals food around here. There he is! He's the one who stole my entire sardine and olive stock! Hand it back right now! Tom's the one you're after. Tom? Who's this Tom? Tom is Sam. But in fact, not Sam, but Tom who looks like Sam. See what I mean? That's enough! I know what I saw! Beware if I catch you anywhere near my food supply! Oh. oh boy, oh boy. I keep doing stuff I didn't do. This is horrible. Don't worry, Sam. The good thing is that we're on the right track. Apparently, Tom is the one pilfering the neighborhood's food supplies. The problem is, you're the one getting the stick. I mean, you're stuck with the blame. Well, whatever. All we have to do now is catch him. Sam, give me a chicken. Me? I don't have a chicken. It's okay, Sam. We all know you always have a chicken on you. But that's absurd. I've never had a chicken. Cut it out, Sam. We're brother and sister. I've known you since the day I was born. Even in the forest, you always managed to hide food on yourself. And actually, we'd like to know how you do that. You guys near the neighborhood? I just turned up and when I heard you talking about chicken, whoa, but this is incredible. Who are you? You could be my twin brother. Look, we've got the same paws. <laughs> yeah, and we've got the same ears. <laughs> Excuse me for interrupting your deeply moving encounter, but Tom, your name's Tom, right? Well, Tom, as I was saying, your master is very worried and she's out looking for you everywhere. You gotta go home. Are you kidding? The world is vast and I still have loads of places to explore. This is the first time in my life I've been outside and I'm as hungry as a boar. Yeah? Hey, if you're hungry, come and have a snack at our place. The Living Stones are really welcoming and open. Oh, yes, come. We'll have a feast. There's loads to eat. Well, of course. I'll tag along. <laughs> Incredible. The resemblance is so amazing. You didn't say that our let was at your place. <laughs> Apart from one mole, those two are absolutely identical. <laughs> Phew. So our Sam's staying with us. What a relief. Let's celebrate. Here's a treat for all of you. Not you, Tom. You could choke or have an allergic reaction. Whittle Tom doesn't want a dreadful allergy, does he? Just because it's you, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> this won't last for long. Thank you for everything. I'm so happy my little Tom is just fine. Congratulations. Your pets are truly adorable. <laughs> Come on, little Tom Tom. <laughs> Time to go home. Freedom, comfort, and kibble heaven. All mine. Oh, Sam, you ate everything up again? Oops. Mm -hmm. I'll deal with this. Uh, sorry, I thought I'd fed you. We had an agreement. Your share for one week. <laughs> No deck chairs? What's got into him? <laughs> hey! What's different about you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? It's me! Right, I'm Sam! Look at my droopy Sam walk! Oh, I know! <laughs> you cut your whiskers! <laughs> Phew! You've got to eat, Tom Tom. I ground everything up. That way, there's no risk of you choking. <laughs> well done, little Tom Tom. As a reward, I got a surprise for you. Look how beautiful you'll be in this. I'm locking up all the doors and windows. That way, no risk of you wandering outside again. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> Oh, no, Sam, not again. It's cool. I got this. Me. Oops, 
I forgot to feed you all again. Sorry. <laughs> Sam, stop that. <sighs> Wait a second, you'll get your kibble. Since when does Sam know how to purr? He's a boar. If Sam is purring, there's only one explanation. He's a cat. Oh no, Tom took Sam's place. Tom is Sam? I can't believe Tom actually did that. We gotta get rid of him before he settles in for good. To do that, we've gotta scare the daylights out of him. You think something can scare him enough to make him? Yes. We remove our costumes. When he sees us as wild beasts, Tom will take off to the end of the world. And who do we have here? Yeah! Great to see you again, Sam. You remember what you owe us, right? Yeah, yeah, d -d 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 don't. Sam, if you don't give us back what you owe us, we're going to... You don't want to know what we're going to do with you. Listen, please, you're making a mistake. I'm not Sam. I swear, my name is Tom. That's a lie. We know you're Sam. Who would want to take his place? Yeah, I swear, it's true. It's because of Mrs. R. Let It Be, my master. She never lets me go outside, and I love going outside. Don't hurt me. I'll take you to him. Walk on ahead. We'll follow. <sighs> right here. I beg you, please don't hurt Arlette. She may seem hard, but she's good-hearted. <sighs> 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 You found me! Where are the keys? In her pocket, but I'll try to get them off her. I'll wake her up. Don't move! I'll go. <laughs> so, like, you never have any chicken on you, right, Sam? <laughs> Yes? Tom, Tom, this time I thought of everything and I installed it. A... Ah, a wolf! Help! A wolf? Help! Where? Yeah? Help! Leave my master alone! Oh my Tom, Tom, you saved me from that big bad wolf. All that time I thought I was protecting you when in fact you are the one who protects me. <laughs> What's all this dancing about? They're together all the time. We're back together. We're back together. <laughs> Thank you, Tom Tom. Looks like everything's sorted out now. And it's thanks to us. Right, Sam? <gasps> Sam, no! Sam, come back! <laughs> Sam! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Day for a picnic. See you this evening. Am I dreaming or did they just leave without us? But I'm starving. You stop. <laughs> We're sharing the meatball. Yeah, we share. Share it, share it, share it. <laughs> oh, oh uh, no, Sam. Sorry, Wash. Don't worry, it's just a teeny weeny tomato stain. I can get rid of it in a blink with my eyes closed. <laughs> there you go. Oops. You're lucky, Sam. Just so happens, I'm an expert. Wow! Wow, what? Nothing happened. And now all we have to do is wait for my costume to finish washing. Impossible! 
impossible to get a decent nap around here. Oh, hey! A documentary on dogs! Oh, wow, just what we needed. With his silky coat of hair and fascinating looks, the Afghan hound has always been the darling of the dog show beauty contest. Hey, that looks like Alvarez! <laughs> it doesn't surprise me at all that Alvarez loves beauty contests. Excellent sense of smell, which makes him a marvelous hunting dog, capable of chasing down rabbits, gazelles, and even foxes. I think I understand better now why Alvarez doesn't like you, Washington. Bad! Ah, don't be ridiculous. Everyone likes me. We met with a proud owner of an Afghan hound who has decided to train his dog for hunting. Alvarez has already won every beauty prize there is, so I thought it was time to move on to more serious things like hunting. you know that we'll be home sooner than expected because of the rain. Is everything okay? Ah, right, of course, you can't answer me. <laughs> See you later! Oh no! My costume! I absolutely have to put my costume back on! Ah, come on! Always works on the sixth try. You have selected the extra long cycle. Your washing will be finished in three hours. No, Susie, no! It's not working at all! Oh. No sounds. sounds! I've got to get out of the house immediately! Sam, you keep him from coming into the laundry room! Susie and Eugenie, you bring me my costume when it's ready! Quick Wash, they're here! Be extra careful, Wash! Remember, there's a fox hunting hound on the loose in the neighborhood. Hmm. Mm. We're home! Extra careful, Wash. Remember, there's a fox hunting hound on the loose in the neighborhood. <gasps> Everything's gonna be just fine. They just wanted to scare me, that's all. And I'm not afraid of anything anyway. <laughs> Honey, do you know where Washington is? No, he must be hiding somewhere in the house because of the storm. I'm gonna go do some laundry, and then I'll go see if I can find him. Uh, uh, what's going on, Sam? What in the world is he doing? No idea, but it's pretty funny. I'm not gonna last long at this. <laughs> Right, okay, time to head home. My costume must be clean by now. A wild fox! It must be the storm that forced him out of his natural habitat. It's our lucky day, Alvarez! <laughs> Going to get him, Alvy. Go on faster. <laughs> Alvarez has gone totally mad. I've got to get home at once. Okay, Alvarez may have a good nose. He's not half as smart as I am. came this way. You're doing a great job. We're gonna find that beast. Come on, Wash. Just a few more feet to go. What? <laughs> Pee you. Just an old box of rotten bananas. 
to finally have a quiet nap. <laughs> oh, no! Please, let me go! I've got 12 hungry pups and nothing to feed them. I came into the city looking for garbage, but I'll be gone in a blink, I promise. And to be honest, I don't even know why you'd want to hunt me. I, uh, I, I, I taste really bad. <laughs> My skin is too tough. Oh, and hey, check it out. I'm nothing but skin and bones. Hmm. Okay, all right then. Hunt me down. And tough luck for my little children. They'll be left all alone in the forest and wind up dry and brittle like little crackers. You like crackers, right, Albert? Uh, uh, Sir Fox ha Hunting Hound Dog? <laughs> P.U. Huh? So you don't want to hunt me? I'm not that disgusting after all. And I should add that I am a highly respected fox in my neck of the forest. Hmm. Here, taste me. And tell me to my face I'm not worth being hunted. Come on, taste me. Are you nuts or what? I've never hunted a fox in my life. <laughs> How gross can you get? But I thought that Afghan hounds just love to hunt foxes. Yes, well, let's just say that I much prefer beauty contests. Uh, but then... What do you want? This whole hunting thing. The idea was my master's. The fox of a red Find the gold again. We gotta go find Wash before Alvarez catches him. That's quite an unusual cat dance. Honey. That cat has never, ever done anything like a normal cat. So, what do we do now? I guess I'm gonna have to hunt you. Otherwise, my master will never forgive me. I know. We'll pretend you've already done it. So how's that work? Ouch! Here. No one will ever believe us. I need way more. Uh, Alvarez? All right, how was that? You happy now? Yes. Did you get the fox, Alby? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my little fox hunter, I am so proud of you. Yes, dear neighbors, that is what happens to wild foxes who dare come anywhere near Alvarez's turn. I am the great Afghan hound, Fox Hunter Supreme! Uh -huh. yeah? Right, let's go home and run you a nice hot bath. How could I have been so stupid and so cruel? All because I wanted to take a little nap, wash! You were the funniest fox alive, the nicest. The most handsome? Yes, the most handsome. And the most intelligent? And the most intelligent. And also the strongest? And also the strong. Uh, uh huh? Wash! But, but, how? Well, Vic, you just said it yourself. I am the handsomest, strongest, most intelligent fox alive. What about Alvarez, the fox hunter? <laughs> Do you seriously think I'm afraid of a wimp like Alvarez? Why, I bet that as we speak, he's getting his hair done for the next dog show beauty contest. <laughs> 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 